let's make sure. Oh, that didn't work, did it? No matter what you select this for, it's all blowing out the top. I'm Steve from Workbench C, and today we're going to try and fix the selector switch for the air conditioning in this 2007 Ford Focus. We'll start by removing the trim ring. Just be a little bit careful. It should just pop free. Then we take the knob off. So it's a Phillips head screw that locks it in place, remove that, and a little twist to the right releases the switch assembly for the push-pull cable. And then we just disconnect. the power for the backlight. And now we're ready to taste the other end of this. Eight millimeter. So the diagnostic port is over here, so you want to be a little bit careful with the wiring. Let me take this down. So this is the other end of the push-pull cable for the selector switch that goes between defrost, vent, and floor. And you see As I turn the control, nothing happens. So it's a temporary measure. slide that all the way down and that should be for the console vents for the air conditioner. And now I should be able to just fish this. Out. Okay, maybe we fish it the other way.
of theirs. Nothing turning there. There's the part I need to order. For now, let's pop this thing back into place. Let's make sure this is set. Yes. Okay, so it's so it's set for air conditioning until the part comes in. So while I'm waiting on the part, we're gonna put this back in place. So that it's drivable. Good enough. So the replacement part has the little locking tab that you have to release in order to free it up so it'll turn. I've got the repair part, so let's open this up again. And again, be careful. This is the diagnostic port wiring. Okay, and then we're gonna pop the console off again. All right, to put the new control in, we're gonna fish the far end down inside. Control end goes in with a quarter twist or eighth twist. And then we put the Phillips head screw back on to lock it in place. Then we can put the trim ring back in place and put the knob back on. Okay. And now the easy part is reconnecting this part. I left this. On vent. So I just need to make sure I've got this turned to vent. And this should just pop back into place. Need a little help. And now we put this panel back up where it belongs. Always thread them in by hand first so I don't cross-thread them. So you can feel it with your fingers if they're lined up and going correctly. And then we put 
put the CD the way it's supposed to. I want to thank my fellow YouTubers who put a lot of information online about how to get this repair done. Apparently the 2007 Ford Focus is notorious for this AC selector level getting sticky once they get old. The rubber for the seals around the air diverters starts getting old, gets sticky, doesn't want to move, and if the knob doesn't want to move easily, don't force it or it'll break. And there goes another $80. I'm Steve for Workbench Z, and I hope this helps you figure out that your selector switch problem is not impossible to tackle. Have a wonderful day. I forgot one thing. I forgot to plug the light back in. There we go. Pulling it.